folks, Japanese fishing adventures, how are we? And yes, I'm stood by a river. You can probably hear it, you might not be able to see it, but yeah, I'm by a river. And today, if you haven't already guessed, we're fly fishing. Yes, we are the first fly fishing trip of the season. And to be honest with you, I'm looking forward to it. I really am. And I can't really do an introduction to a fly fishing video without the sound of fast flowing water next to me, can I? Be rude not to. But nevertheless, we're doing it and we're fishing with the rigged and ready two in one infinite fly rod. This bad boy is so worth buying, honestly. Three weight and a five weight in one setup. What more could you ask for? Perfect for on the road, out and about, fancy a chuck, get it out of the bag. Easy as that. And as I said, we're on the three weight today. I'm fishing with a little old school Hardy's Marquis reel. And the fly to start with, if you can see it properly, is a caddis fly. Now, the caddis fly early in the season on this river is lethal. Well, in truth, it's lethal all the time. And really, we're just gonna see if we can pull something out. It's a perfect day for dry fly fishing though. Look at it, overcast, clear, beautiful. No wind. Well, actually there's a bit of wind. But hey ho, let's get fishing. Let's see if we can pull something out. Come on, blimey. Oh yes, that was a weird bite. That's quite a big fish. <laughs> I'm gonna lose this. No, no, it's still on. Why is it not a bad fish? I was proper dawdling. I wasn't really paying attention. Lovely fish in that flow there. What colors on it? Let's try and bring him out of that flow. Whoa, it's not massive, but it's a nice fish and bring him over here, I think. We'll get the net ready. <laughs> this is why you need to go dry fly fishing here in Japan. Look at that, it's beautiful fish. And he's in. Sorry, that was a little bit obtuse, but what a fish that is. What a belter. Bloody hell, that was like the first pearl we've been in as well. Buzzing, look at this lad. Oh, look at him. Belting fish, belting, belting, belting. Right, see if we can let him, just look at that, look at the bow. Beautiful, something going on with his mouth then. I basically was just dangling my fly in the current as I was walking along and we've hooked up and it's actually quite a decent fish. I knew that had happened. It's a flow and like, funny enough, it's like one of my favorite runs actually. And I don't know why I missed it because I thought the height wasn't there, but it was, it really was there. And we've got a really nice fish on. It's probably about, I don't want to preempt anything early doors, but. It's just holding me in the current. I don't want to lose him. And he's off. I'll tell you what, when you hook a decent fish in this fast flowing water, they fight. They really fight. And on light gear, like you just can't get them up. You cannot get them up. Because they just they just hold you in the current. Like I'm trying to bring him in without losing him. He might go down here. Probably a bit more sensible and it flows a little bit less. There we go, we've brought him in. No, I haven't. 
He's got depth here as well. Okay, what a fish. Please don't lose. Don't come off. Come on. That's a really nice trout. Come on. Up we come. There we go. That's a proper trout. <laughs> Look at that. That's a beauty. That is an absolute beauty. Catching these on the fly. On a dry fly. Oh, come on. Get up. Yeah, that's a chunky trout. Come on. <laughs> He's in. Oh, what a fish that is, guys. Flies come out in the net. Beautiful, absolutely engulfed. Well, somewhat of an unexpected catch. Look at that. What a beautiful trout that is. That is chunky as well. Very chunky fish. Oh, and there's the rod. And there's the fly doing the job. A caddis fly. Buzzing. What I love about these fish is that colour, is that bow on them. It is so, so bright. It's a beautiful fish, isn't it? Don't go in between me legs, mate. Oh. <laughs> and there we go. Well, folks, that was a pretty frantic start to the trip. I was down there probably about an hour and a half and two smashing, smashing trout, to say the least. It's about half two now, and what I tend to find here is that the bites really switch off for a couple of hours between like two and four, and then they really pick up again in the afternoon. So... We're going to have some lunch, yeah, dirty burger. So you can buy just like a burger bun in the Combini and you can buy a piece of fried chicken. You've got a burger, easy as that. Anyone who's been to Japan knows that you live off these bad boys. Like the Combini life is the one. It's, it's actually a reason just to come to Japan. It's just to experience the convenience stuff. Next level. And, we, and I thought we were good, I did. But right, let's have this. And then we'll get back on the river. Those of you who wanted to see the work of art, beautiful chicken burger. But I do wish I'd got the cheese. Hmm. Oh well. Well, I tell you what, it has really cooled off. It is cold, man. It's dropped about. 10 degrees but there's still flies on the surface so we are going to keep on the dry fly we're in are we yeah we are okay that's big that is just holding me in the current oh dear lord i barely even had a chance to really talk about what we're doing that's a nice fish whatever it is Oh, he's off. It was big, that. That was big. That was really big. Yes! He guzzled that out of the water. Not a big, big fish in the slightest, but it was a cracking bite. Oh, and that's sort of the beauty of fly fishing, actually. Oh no, we've got a mega tangle. A mega tangle, not the time. We saved that. We saved it. It's just the current here is so strong. Right, come on. Where's that net? Get here, you. It's actually bigger than it looks, to be fair. It is a little bit bigger. That's why I thought it's not massive, but ooh, get it. That is it. Little baby rainbow there. Look at that, lad. Get that hook out. Beautiful. And there we go. It wasn't the big lad. What is wrong with these guys' mouths at the moment? That's another one with a really weird mouth. That was bizarre. 
Right, folks, I'm calling it a day there. I'll be honest with you, I'm still recovering from that trek for the salmon. Like, honestly, I'm still knackered. If you haven't watched that video, make sure you check it out. There's a card up here. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, you know what to do. Please hit that subscribe button and drop us a comment. Please, really means a lot, makes a massive difference. So, yeah, if you could, massively appreciate your kind words. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed. If you want to come dry fly fishing in Japan, make sure you do. Give us a message. Tight lines, keep fishing.